Hello there, Sai here, and I believe that there's a rainbow after every Sai. Feels smooth. This feels better now with a softer surface for coloring. So this is obviously black. Can you see the flakes? But before we proceed with the other colors, let's check for the weight and the dimensions of the color. In the box, it does not state the weight of the colors for each, so let's see how much does it weigh. This is 9.9 .9 cm, so it's between 9.8 to 9.9 .9 perhaps. 9 grams for brown, 8 grams for the orange, 9 grams for yellow, 9 grams for green, 9 grams for pink, 9 grams for red, 8 grams for flesh, 8 grams for violet. 8 grams for blue, 9 grams for light blue, 8 grams for white and black, although this has been used. Let's see, 8 grams. So their average is 8.5, 8 to 9 grams. It's smooth because of the surface, but it easily crumbles and the color is not that dark as it looks. It's crumbly. I like this color and it looks lighter than the color of the crayon, but it's smooth also. This has lots of crumbles. Look at that. Now on to the violet. I really enjoy using crayons when I was younger. And now, I'm finding joy with this again. Very crumbly also. Let's go red. Mm. It's not bloody red, it's lighter than the typical red. I am not really comfortable with this triangular pencil. It's quite not that comfortable to grip because of the edges. Oh, that is so Japan crayon. This one in particular is crumbly. Go green. I like how it starts. It's soft and wow, it became lighter. So I have to put more pressure. How I wish I can measure the pressure that I'm applying. <laughs> I 
I think this paper has also its own texture. By the way, this sheet is from an IKEA scrapbook notebook and I just tore the sheets and make this swatch paper. So let's see the pink. Mmm, pretty in pink. But this kind of crayon, the shape of the crayon, which is triangular, and also the size, which is bigger than the standard, I actually think this best fit for kids. Because they're bigger. I don't like the pink. There's still lots of lighter or white areas from the paper. I should have added more pressure on the first shading. Anyway, let's proceed to the orange. Starting at the center, going out. Oh, I like this color. I like it. I like the orange. And also, I think that system, coloring system coming from the center going out is great. I'll try that method with the next color. Well, I like the orange. I like it. I just used enough pressure. Not light, not hard. So let's see with the yellow from the center going out. Nice. Oh, I like this kind of system. <laughs> I should have done that earlier. But anyway. I like the yellow too. I like the orange and the yellow. They're easy to color. The flesh center out. Wow. Hmm. What's that? What's this darker stroke? Oh, manufacturing error. These darker colored streaks are the pigment. It was not well mixed, so that's why it gives such dark shade. I'm not liking the flesh because of this. Well, anyway, and white. Of course, it's white. It cannot be seen. And I don't have a black paper. But let's still color to see if it crumbles. Let's color the line. Yeah, it still crumbles. Oh, I don't like the flesh. I'm actually a fan of the orange and the yellow, but the rest, so-so. Have you tried these crayons from Daiso Japan? Please comment below if you had used this one. Thank you for watching and see you on my next crayon swatch.